Hey everyone, it's Brad Ormby here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As we head into 2021, I decided to make a playlist to add in my favorite clips or moments. Well, I have another one to share in this video. However, I'm not actually going to be in it. As back in 2015, you know, time's going by when you're saying, back in 2015, I made my first ever trip to Winnipeg. I've never been to the capital of Manitoba all my life until 2015, but I went there late November for the 103rd Grey Cup, where at that game the Hampton Eskimos were taking on the Ottawa Red Blacks, but I stayed in a hotel that was near downtown or close to the downtown core, and I'm near the mall Portage Place. And one thing that I just had a kick out of it at Portage Place Mall, not with the, you know, 1980s aesthetics, with the clock tower, the glass lights, and all that, if you know what I mean, especially if you found Vaporwave on this platform. But it's that fountain. I certainly had a kick out of that fountain at Portage Place. So I'll show you the clip right now on why I have a kick out of that fountain. So here we go. Yeah, one heck of a mall film. And actually, that was not what I recorded when I was in Winnipeg for the one of their Grey Cup in late November 2015. I was kicking myself that I didn't capture the video then. However, in July 2017, I decided to go to Winnipeg. That time I drove, and I'm going to say I won't be driving from Calgary to Winnipeg in one day ever again. It's doable, but it's not pretty. But anyway, I was there to watch the Calgary Stampeders take on the Winnipeg Blue Bombers in Winnipeg, and I absolutely was hoping that fountain, as I was also close to being downtown as well, and I was hoping that fountain was still there and was still doing its thing, and thankfully it was. Just, you know, how it's nothing, and suddenly it spurts, and then it just stops, and then it just repeats, and I know that a couple times I've been there, I see people that are kind of amused by it, just like I am. So, that is the, my favorite site in the Portage Place Mall in Winnipeg. Not too sure when I'll get to go to Winnipeg again in the future. However, you'd be wondering what would happen if that mall fountain was ever out of service. I mean, that's kind of the joke of that fountain. Or is that what it's supposed to be running properly? Or who knows? Maybe if you're one from Winnipeg, you can... Uh, to talk about and share your thoughts with you. I do have the original video right here as well where I just took that video and uploaded it to see how it goes and enough people have had amusement out of it. So anyway, as I say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary Sports Fan journey, 
own the Flames Hitman Roughnecks and Stampeders. I mostly do talk Calgary Sports on my YouTube channel, but I do sometimes take a break from it from personal blogs. Tampa Comedy, and this is a case where I share my experience, let's say I'm on the road or at a sporting event like that Portage Place Fountain. So if that all sounds like it'd be interesting to watch to follow along with this Calgary Sports fan's journey, you know what you need to do, just uh, make sure you hit like, subscribe. I also have my other social media links down in the description below for other ways you can follow me, as so I just want to keep tuning on creating content on this platform and tuning to keep growing, just like all other aspiring creators. So I'm going to say thanks for watching, and hopefully you enjoyed that Portage Place Fountain. I just explained, I just had such a kick out of it, and I kicked myself, literally and figuratively, that I didn't take video of it when I was in Winnipeg the first time, but thankfully it got redeemed my second chance when I was there the second time. So I'm going to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.